today I'm going to talk about stomach acid. And I'm really passionate about this. I'm going to try to keep it cool and not get too fired up. But I want to talk about why it's so necessary, what it does for our body, and how it has become so villainized and really very mainstream when it comes to GI issues, especially heartburn and reflux, to just throw antacid or PPI medications at it and what that does long term. So first of all, we need stomach acid. We hear about it all the time. We want to talk, we hear about it being uh, the cause of heartburn and all those different things, which it can, but it's just not that simple. So we need stomach acid because it's going to digest our protein and it is going to help us digest and absorb our nutrients. So B12 is a huge one and that is very important when it comes to mood, uh, energy production, detoxification. We also need some of our, our stomach acid for our basic minerals or our most vital minerals like zinc, iron, uh, calcium, and magnesium as well. We can't do a whole lot of processes in our body at all without either B12 or those minerals. So that stomach acid is vitally important to every, almost every single process in our body. If that's not there, how can we expect our body to do what it's supposed to do optimally? Same with protein. It is not just about building muscle. It is also about hormones, um, brain health. Our immune system is very, very much dependent on our protein levels and detoxification as well. Energy, all these different things are reliant on having protein as a building block. And then beyond that, it's also really important for our GI health too. So yes, of course, it helps with digestion, but it also sets the pH balance of the rest of our intestinal tract. So we do not want an overgrowth of bacteria in our gut and that acidity from the stomach acid helps keep that overgrowth at bay. So our microbiome or that bacteria is really dependent on a healthy acid production in our stomach. That acid also will then trigger digestion further down the line. So it will trigger bile to be released from our gallbladder to help us actually digest and absorb fats. Also massively important for energy, hormones, brain health, neurological health. And then also will stimulate the pancreas to secrete digestive enzymes to help us digest further protein, but also fat and carbohydrates as well. So super, super important for GI health as well as full body health. And if you've seen me talk before, you know that I say, if our GI tract is not in a good spot, our full body anywhere in our body is not going to be in a good spot. It very, very, very much goes back to gut health. So super important. That's why it's super important. And just a little clinical pearl here is oftentimes the stomach acid is actually too low and that's why we get heartburn or that reflux coffee type um, feeling or reaction. So we have a sphincter that separates our esophagus and our stomach and it's the lower esophageal sphincter. And that, that gets triggered to close close when there is acid production, meaning, okay, if there's food in our stomach, we should close. When there's not enough acid, that sphincter is not going to get triggered to close, and that's when you can start to see some of that acid or that food regurgitate back up into the lower esophagus, leading to heartburn-like symptoms. So again, stomach acid gets villainized, but unless there's not enough, that sphincter is not going to close and keep stomach acid where it's supposed to be. So again, It's not often a too high of stomach acid problem. It is a too low of stomach acid problem. And throwing more acid suppression drugs at it is just going to make the problem worse. And it does not address the root of the problem. Um, I see so many many people not only with gut issues but full body issues as a result of being on antacids for years and years. This is a drug that is not supposed to be long term for 95% of people. So if the side effects are not talked about enough, people have no idea like what this can do long term. And since I talked about how those basic building blocks and those cofactors that do all the processes in our processes in our body, if they're not there, how can anything work long term? So I see people with yes, GI issues, overgrowth issues, microbiome issues, digestion issues, but also osteoporosis, anxiety and depression. Um, an overload of toxicity, and so, so many more Um, immune system issues and chronic infections that are slipping past our GI tract because the stomach acid isn't there to get rid of it. So there's so many different things that I see leading to issues in my patients and then neurological lead too, neuropathy. And um, I, I know I said anxiety and depression too, but nerve health is really, really dependent on getting protein and those, those minerals into our body too for nerve firing. So A lot of information that I try to jam pack in a five minute video, but I just want people to understand that if you're on an acid suppressor and have been for a long time and nobody's trying to figure out 
why you needed to be on that in the first place or is not trying to help you actively get off of it, then you should seek out a functional medicine doc who will help you heal and hopefully not need that medication any longer because, again, it leads to so many issues long term.